Hello everyone, this is Maxwell from GH Instagroup. Today our lesson is going to be a very simple and straightforward one. We are going to look at how to set up or to open a Facebook account first and then set up a Facebook page. We all know by now and we understand that with all the things that we have learned so far, you cannot run an Instagram page without a Facebook page. It is very crucial for you to have a Facebook page in order to run an Instagram account. Now, why is it important? It's important in several ways or for several reasons. One of the key reasons why you must have a Facebook page is that you cannot run ads effectively on your Instagram without a Facebook page. It is important for you to set up an ad account in Facebook and create Facebook and create Instagram ads through Facebook to make it effective. From there, you have a lot more options and choices to make to set up your demographics, to set up your, your targets carefully in order not to waste money. So as much as we would like to enter that aspect very quickly, we need to understand and know how to handle the whole Facebook thing. Now, I believe that a whole lot of you, or almost all of you, have a Facebook account. So you would have seen this page before, and I believe that you also know how to open a Facebook account and subsequently a Facebook page. But equipped with that knowledge, I still think that there are some people who might find it a bit difficult when it comes to handling all these things. There's a whole lot of trial and error going on when they were opening the first one. But I want to make sure that we all grasp the knowledge of actually opening a Facebook account and having it on tape and going back to it every time you want to do it. And then through that, open a Facebook page and continue from there. So in opening a Facebook account, we need a name, we need um, an, an email address or a phone number, set up a password, you need to set up your day of birth and select your gender. Now, it is also important for you to know that as a business, you cannot open a Facebook account for a business. You have to open a Facebook account as an individual for yourself. And through that, you open a Facebook page or a Facebook group or any other options available behind that for your business you cannot i repeat you cannot have a facebook account for a business the facebook the facebook network or social network or platform is designed to network people is designed for people to go on there and socialize meet each other and make new friends for business a business is an entity it's not a person and businesses don't have friends. Businesses don't meet people. You know, it is the business owners who owns accounts, individual accounts, who can connect with other people, their friends, their family, their schoolmates, and other things, so that eventually they will introduce their business pages to them, you know, or give them a link or, or invite them to come and like their Facebook. So it's important that when you open a business, if you open a Facebook account you open it for a person and then you open a business page or a Facebook page for your business so okay so we have our Facebook account created so we will dive in into Facebook page creation straight away and see how the whole process is done and then we move on from there so basically if once you have created your facebook account okay there are a few things you have to set up you know you need your facebook account cover you have to add a cover photo and you have to add uh, an image or we call it a dp so you, c you have to add photos to this so do it nicely you can easily do that in canva like we have learned before so that is not a big deal 
but we'll go straight away and create the Facebook page and go through some of the settings that you need in order to get it set properly. So once you're on your Facebook page, just go to the top bar and click on the create menu icon there. When you create that, you have four options either to create a page, to create an ad, a group, or an event. We probably will go through the rest of them later, but for now, we would create a Facebook page. So click on it and wait for that to open. So they ask you follow on questions so who are you opening the account for so let's let's read make sure you are reading all the information that is coming up to you when we go to a next page so here it says connect your business yourself your course to the worldwide community or people on facebook or community of people on facebook to get started choose a page category so in our case we are building a brand okay most of us have businesses and we want to build a brand for so we would choose the business or a brand and get started so i'll click get started so business or a brand connect with customers grow your audience and showcase your products with a free business page so what is your business name so i would say that my business name is kk ceramics okay add your category okay so when we start typing something it should bring it should bring um, a suggestion to us ceramics what do we get shopping retail property restaurant um, okay let me see Okay. Let's see what options. Open shop, seafood, barbecue, women's clothes, hotel, e-commerce. Okay. Let's select. Um, okay. Let me choose another letter. Let's see. Intelligent until news visual wine e commerce. Okay, let me select uh, e commerce. All right, okay, let me make it visual art. Ceramic is, is art, so let me select visual art and then we continue. Remember, this, these are all things I'm just doing on top of my head, it's not scripted or anything so don't be angry that i've chosen ceramics so my internet is killing me but uh, okay so i've chosen ceramics the next step is add a profile picture help people find your page by adding a, a photo now the most important thing you need to understand here is that if you cannot remember all the things or you are not like a master at some of these settings okay you have to take advantage of the prompts that facebook is giving you is facebook is saying that upload a keep as a profile picture here then you have to upload a profile picture if you are not like you you are not very good at the facebook system because the reason why they are doing that they know that when you finish creating the page you might find it a bit difficult trying to upload your profile picture if you are not a, an expert at it so they've given you a prompt so if i were you what i would do is that i would create the pro my profile picture and all the other images ready so when we get to this page i will just upload it but we'll skip it now for now and go to the next option it said add a cover photo pages with um, cover photo typically get more pages more page likes and visits so cover photo also already available and we upload but we will skip it for now okay so what next let's go to the next page and see what is happening there now with okay so now we are here 
so that is our facebook page created for us so we have to work through all the settings one by one there is no need to rush you take your time you go through all the settings one by one and get everything sorted out okay so the first thing we need to do here is to create a, f a DP or a, 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 a Facebook page cover don't confuse that between the Facebook account cover so we have the Facebook page cover and we have the Facebook account cover I'm going to continue my Canva my internet connection is so bad that my Canva cannot even upload it's giving me a whole lot of problems so would work would go on working without doing the covers we'll do them later on so from here what you want to do is to click on settings okay on our new Facebook page now we need to take care of all the settings one by one to make sure that everything is working well first of all on the general tab click on the general tab okay if that is not open for you automatically and then page published okay we want to click on that and uh, on publish the page okay so let's save changes why have we unpublished the page we've unpublished the page because we don't want it to be online for people to start visiting because we haven't done the settings we haven't done anything it's a it's a fresh page so the next thing is visitor post so click on edit allow visitors to the page allow visitors to the, to the page to publish posts allow photos and video posts do we really want to allow people to come to our page to come and post things without our consent no i don't think so so we want to disable posts by other people on our page we are the only ones who can post on our own page and everything you do you save before you go to the next step so the next step is news feed audience and visibility for posts so click on that okay and um, set everything up one by one okay so news feed audience and visibility for posts allow news feed audience selection and post visibility options for page so we'll leave this as it is we won't touch it post and story sharing post and story sharing allow sharing to stories people can share your page stories posts or events to their own story this includes your page name and a link to what you originally shared allow people to share your page posts and events allow people to share your page story i believe that you should allow people to share because you see what makes social media a network is that the ability for people to be able to share the more people share your content the more your content goes far and the more you benefit from it so more people sharing more people conversing about or making conversations about your products your services your posts, and other things will make you popular so we'll leave that untouched and so we cancel that and then we go to the next one messages messages is also another important one allow people to contact my page privately by showing the message button turning messages messaging off will remove the send message button from your page okay we want to allow people to contact my page privately that is fine I don't want to turn messages off tagging ability do you want people to tag you you can do your settings here all these settings you go through them one by one age restrictions and what have you and set everything up up to remove page if you're not happy with the page and you want to get rid of it why not just click on delete and that is gone so you can see that there are so many settings here if you don't take your time 
to go through all these things you'll find that later on you will start getting unnecessary messages from people that you are not happy about so the next one option we need to go through is the page info click on page info and then do the settings okay description add a small description for your page what do you do as a business that you want to use the show the case to showcase so you can write something briefly say we are an or we are a visual arts company you know full stop established in okay don't worry about my spellings established in 1990 or 1978 you know we do blah 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 and blah 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 so when you type everything just correct it you know then you you set it up and then category yeah select visual art for us because we selected it when we were setting up the page enter your phone number zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and select ghana because we're in ghana you are not in the u.s so ghana will suit us well ghana where is ghana g h is ghana not in the list Ghana, here it is. We select Ghana and then we type the number. So if you have an extension extension, you write it there. My page doesn't have a number. So if you have don't have a number, just click that box. But I suggest that you put a number. You put a website. If you don't have a website, say my page doesn't have a website. You save the changes, email address, you enter your email address. If you don't have it, my page doesn't have an email address. You select it and you save then location also another important option if you have a physical shop a shop that is in a physical location it's important that you select your your location on a map okay you can you can type something you know uh, Accra okay okay let me, uh, city is on the next so street is uh, any streets okay let's go to type Accra and uh, postcode one two three four five and search and see if something happens otherwise we we'll just drop we we'll just magnify the thing select Accra select Ghana keep magnifying until we can see something Okay, we are in Accra somewhere. Mm -hmm. Accra, what can I see here? Okay, I can see the names start popping up, so let's keep. Okay, so your location, if your location is whatever, Mandela Park, it can be anywhere around here. Okay. can be anywhere around here DNA guest house whatever that means Customers visit my my business at my street address. On clicking this box, would hide the address from your page. So, like I was saying, uh, to make things simple for us to finish the video on time, let's just unclick it, and save the changes. 
but normally most of us who have uh, uh, physical addresses should just enter it in a box so we just enter the street name the city and you are gone and then it will register it for you you save it case close okay so hours of opening you fill that up impress some privacy privacy policy you fill everything up nicely and you go to the next page which is messaging so remember that you have you are saving everything along the way even as you go and then you don't have to forget and move to a page realize that oh i did a mistake no so messaging we need to set up our messaging what do we do from here set up features and edit preferences for managing messages across messenger and instagram you can manage notification settings in notifications and all that we, we will do this message settings in another in another uh, um, area which is more robust but we can start off doing the basic basic things here yeah, said general settings click jump to session use the return key to send messages do you want to do that sometimes i believe that you can leave that on check what it means is that if you are typing a message you click enter the message will be sent if you turn this thing on now the reason why that is not advisable is that sometimes you are typing and you want to go to another paragraph you hit enter key and pam your message is gone and you haven't even finished finished typing yet so if you leave this on check well that would help you when you forget to you forget and you tap the enter key your message will not be sent sent starting a messenger conversation show a greeting greet people before they send greet people before they send your page message your greeting appears in that chat window so if you are going to use messenger to if you are going to use messenger to converse with people then you need to do your messenger settings that is facebook messenger is also another powerful tool for marketing you know we 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 we, we will not learn that on this course because that is a different ball game altogether if you are interested i can create a course on how to use messenger to run your your digital business or online business if you are really interested in learning that let me know in my dm i'll create a course online on it for you take you step by step as to the things you need to do to set up your messenger properly and target customers using facebook messenger is also very crucial if you are going to be in the online online uh, domain and try to make money from online you need to learn how to use messenger to market as well so here you have your messenger link here so for you see some of some of us don't have any link in our in our um instagram bio you can pick up this link and drop it in the instagram bio and put a call to action with fingers pointing at it that contacts me on there so what people will do is that they would just send you a facebook messenger message that you receive on your page if you are set up on your phone you just receive a notification on your phone that you have a message from messenger add messenger to your website so you can add facebook messenger to your website it's easy process get started and it will take you through now during a messenger conversation set up automated messages all these i can i can teach you if you want to take the messenger course of course it will be at a fee or it's going to be a lot of work for me to create but it will be very reasonable for you to purchase and learn how to use messenger to to run your your digital business okay so that is with with messenger and um, next tab is templates and tabs you can see that on the face of it facebook pages 
look like something that is not really important but you can see that facebook has has invested so much money into creating this right and to make sure that you have a lot of features to play around with so that in the end you would benefit and all these tools come for you come to you for free there is no need to ignore it if, if, uh, if there's no need to ignore it use it build a very good facebook present for your business link it to your instagram and then and there you go templates and tabs now these when you look at these menu items they are all tabs okay and you can set them up using this area so let's see how we can do that templates choose a template with default buttons and tabs designed to help your page so all you have to do is to click edit this is a standard template this is a business template venues non-profit politicians services restaurants shopping video page and what have you so the ball is in your court depend on what you are doing okay so let's see what is in the business details view details the business is designed to help you manage your business include ways to post jobs and special offers okay so it tells you shows you where your button locations are going to be the tools you need like follow share save tabs you know arrangements your home post events reviews you know photos and all about that all 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 and all these ones are all arranged in a certain way so if you apply that template then you would see this and then you just play around with it and, and set it up okay so all these appear on your home you understand you can drag them around drag them around change them around if you don't want to see events in there you can click settings show tab share viewers tab okay so you can save you can about about you need about community photos we remove events turn events off so we save so it's gone so like i said before if you don't save the thing and it becomes some way you don't it is not gone it's there so make sure you 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 can add another tab if you want to it's all up to you and what you want to do so you can go through these things these all these things you don't need to pay anybody to do it for you you can do it but if you think that you are too lazy to do it or you have uh, you don't have time to do it then you can pay me to do it for you it's very simple but maybe a little bit time consuming because you need to have time one one thing you need to know about online business is that you have two things to trade with most people have some some people have both now i'm digressing a little bit but it's coming to my mind and i just want to share that with you two things you need to run an online business is time and money okay some people have the time and they have the money at the same time some people have the time they do not have the money some people do not have the time and they have the money so what you need to do is to trade off one for the other if you don't have money and you have time time is very very valuable you use that time you learn the thing you use that time to set it up and then you market it to get money if you do not have time you pay someone like me to set everything up for you professionally the way you want it 
design all your images design all your banners your dps and everything for you and then set it out for you nicely get it working and then you pay me so what what you have done there is that you have traded your money to save time do you get it so in the end is a win-win for you what you want is a business setup and it's set up for you if you have time use the time to set it up if you do not have time use the money to set it up some way somehow you must have one of these to be able to start a business and online businesses are the same also if you do not have time and you do not have money then I'm afraid doing an online business is not for you unfortunately so you may have to get a job somewhere KFC something get a few uh, uh, CDs save them up over a few months and then resign and start your online business because you need to pay for a few things and you cannot do it with zero money okay so next is notifications okay let's go to notifications after borrowing you with all that money and time uh, speech okay so notifications also get notifications each time there is activity on your page or an important page update do you want to be getting notifications from Facebook if you want yes if you do not want click off and you may miss important uh, page updates blah, blah blah and then confirm you don't want any notifications messages get notifications when somebody sent you send your page a message on messenger or Instagram direct push notifications for your pages messenger app can be managed on the app messages you want to leave them on when people come and send you messages asking you for something about your services you have to be able to get that and answer it so you have to leave it on and most of the time you get it on your phone email get an email each time there is an activity on your page or important page update email yeah because email will not be interrupting you throughout the whole day so you can leave that and email text messages i will turn text messages off because i don't want facebook sending me text on top of the ones i'm already getting so that is also nicely set up and uh, advanced messaging advanced messaging will be in the line of what we have already looked at with respect to facebook messenger okay well let's see what is the general settings connect apps no apps are connected yet app settings so basically advanced messaging is got to do with connecting a, a third at a third party application or messaging application to your facebook page so that it will help you manage your messaging better okay so that is something you may want to consider if your business is advancing and becoming bigger and bigger and bigger by the day and the message volumes are increasing you need a third party application you know to come in there and sort the messages out for you and make it package it in such a way that you can use it to run your business so next is page rules now when you create your page how do you manage it do you have the time you know we're talking about um trading your time and money to run your business if you have to hire somebody to run your face facebook page for you okay you can assign a role for them you don't have to grant them all the logins and the security of your page for them to take it away one day no you, you all you have to do is to come to the page rules and assign a new page role let's say you've employed me or you've hired me to to run your facebook page for you as an agency what you do basically is to jump to this section page rules and then type my name okay so in that case if my name if my name is maxwell achu you just type it maxwell achu and then you look through all these people 
whichever one is Maxwell or true, you just add him, you know, and then you add him, click add, read the message, and then you finish the setup. Existing page rules. If you add people, you have employees, two, three, four, who are managing these things, and some of them leave. They've left your company. All you have to do is to come here, click edit, and remove them. Or you 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 promoted people in your company and you want them to have more access to your Facebook page. You can come to the Facebook page, go to the page rules, set up the people, put their their their, their positions there and grant them the necessary necessary uh, uh, access they need in order to run your page for you people and other pages people and other pages here here is where you can see people and other pages that like kk ceramics from the list of people who like your page click the gear icon to remove someone from a page who who like the page or ban them a person who's banned can't post comment send messages or take other actions on the page so this is talking about your likers those who like your page those who follow your page maybe there's somebody especially the ladies there's, there's someone who's following your page and it's always sending you messages about marrying you and all that nonsense if you're not happy with the person just come here and then get them off your page if they are a nuisance to you so it can also happen to the men as well so I'm not, it's, it's not only a female problem <laughs> it can happen to the men as well so yeah that is that is just come here and make all those changes anybody following your page anybody liking your page you grant them access to do that and then uh, it's become a nuisance to you you can take them off from here preferred page audience you see th you, you can now see that there is so much to be done on your Facebook page before you even open it up to the public to start following to simply uh, to simplify our settings we remove the page preferred audience feature which page owners could edit to reflect who they would most like to connect with you can add you can still add or edit country age restrictions for your page to restrict the page from so Facebook is saying that they have whatever they have they have removed this and they should have just taken it off and out of it so authorizations so we are going quickly through all these things prepare to run ads about social issues elections politics uh, what will you unwrap I mean I don't think this is important for you branded content brand collaborations and all that so brand collaborations you can see that this is a whole new world you know and a whole new lesson for us to go through so this is talking about branded content brand collaborations and um, it's got more to do with um, like okay let's read what is there you branded your branded content settings are now available in brand collaboration manager it's still easy to control which partner pages are approved to tag you in posts these settings have just moved to a different part of facebook if you join brand collapse manager if you join brand collapse manager you would also be able to connect with a wide range of high quality creators use collaboration tools to simplify future partnerships and manage and uh, all branded content activity so it, it like like i was saying before if you were a content creator okay if you're a content creator and you are collaborating with collaborating with others or working with other people okay then you can work together using brand collaboration manager i.e you are granting other pages or other companies access to your Facebook page in order to collaborate on certain designs certain tools you are using and all that and you just don't grant them access the, the brand collapse manager would help you to 
uh, uh, approve some of the things they do. It's a turn on to allow approved pages to tag you, for instance. So these are some of the things you will get. Join a creator, apply as advertiser. You know. So let's go on, continue with our. So that was bla branded content. Then Instagram, which is also very important for us. All right, manage Instagram on Facebook. So it's important for you to realize that you can or you can manage Instagram on Facebook. Reach more people who care about what you do by connecting an Instagram account to your Facebook page. You will get additional features to interact with people across Facebook and Instagram. Connect your Facebook. You click on Connect Facebook. You follow the step. Uh, connect. You click on Connect Account. You follow the steps to add your Instagram page to your Facebook. Depending on their Facebook page rules, people who help manage your page may have access to help manage things on both Facebook and Instagram, such as content, ads, insights messages comments so you you when you you connect your facebook to your instagram you can also allow those people you have employed to manage your facebook page to go on and manage your instagram content as well for you especially those of us who do not have the time and are trading our money to run our online business we can leverage on these tools to help manage your account and the good thing is that all these things will leave, leave a footprint so if you allow people to to manage your account it's not like they are going to do it and take your account away or anything no they would do whatever job they need to do and you are able to track them to make sure that you are paying them for what they said they will do for you in the first place so next is whatsapp so we can see where all these things are going right connect whatsapp to facebook so whatsapp normal whatsapp whatsapp business once you connect your whatsapp or whatsapp business account to facebook you can add a whatsapp button to your page and create whatsapp ads to place on facebook so the whole thing is becoming interesting isn't it most of us i think already have whatsapp business accounts and so we can connect them and set them up nicely and use that feature so you will have a whatsapp button on your facebook page so when people come they can click on that and voila they are already sending you messages featured cross, cross posting page support inbox so all these things are basically they are all simple to set up you just have to have the time to go through them and set them up so when we finish with all these setups the next thing you need to look at okay would be the bars at the top here okay you remember we were talking about messaging you, when you click on inbox you continue your setup from there setting up the mess how you receive your messages and how they are all arranged so messages all messages comments and more facebook instagram automated responses there are so many things you can do you know we were trying to connect up if you didn't connect your instagram page there you have another opportunity here to connect your instagram page and reading all this information is basically telling you that connecting your page allows page admins and other people to manage your page for you you can connect instagram account other people who manage the page may be able to post and all that so that is giving you that reminder automated responses is also very huge for those of us who cannot keep answering messages here and there you have an opportunity here to set up responses to manage your messages automatically so away 
message you are not around you want your customers to be able to still work with you without your presence you leave messages here when they send you a message they get a feedback straight away frequently asked questions when people ask questions they get responses page recommended page not recommended communicate about jobs if you are you are posting jobs you are recruiting you can use these tools application received and so when somebody send an application over to your facebook they get a message that our oh, application has been received we are looking through your cvs and we will call you for interviews uh, on a later date blah 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 if, if if you are not successful maybe you won't hear from us that's the usual gibberish that employers say you can say all of them here and make yourself happy in the end so notifications come to notifications and continue our setup from there okay you can set them all up likes and all that comments shares other insights insights is where you see whatever is happening to your facebook page and also your instagram page if you have them all set up so actions taken on page page views page previews page likes post reach story reach you have all the figures here recommendations post recommendations and videos page follows it's also very important for us we want to see those who are following and are leaving our page ad results have moved ad results used to be here and all the info that you've used to see in and more is now in the ad center okay so the ad center is also another another thing we have to look at and when we will do that when we start looking at how to create the facebook uh, business manager we create a facebook business manager we look at the ad center and how to create ads and all that we'll look into that but this one today is basically looking at how to create a facebook page so the facebook page is the one that has all these tools you set them up correctly you know publishing to so you can make publications here that is you say publishing it means your posts publish posts scheduled posts you can schedule posts in facebook so that they post for you when you are not there so you can create all your posts here schedule them say tuesday 8 p.m post this you set up everything and facebook will post it for you videos video library videos you can post tools creator studio you know we're looking at creator studio in uh, the last whatsapp lecture you have creator studio here we'll go into that later sound collection for that these are tools you can use to make videos for your for your page branded content lead art forms and the list goes on and on if we want to go into all these we won't finish today click more ad center page quality so ad center we'll go into that later you know so you click here you go back to your facebook page okay one of the things i should have taught you earlier on which i didn't is how to set up your button all right now i didn't show you that because you know when we were doing it there was a place where you could set up your whatsapp and uh, put your whatsapp button here if you set up whatsapp your whatsapp button will appear here or appear beside this one if you set it up correctly but if you just want to set up um, a button just click on the plus button on there okay and uh, 
which button do you want people to see? The button at the top or the or at the top of your page helps people take action. People see it on your page and in search results when your page appears. You can edit it at any time. So it is important for you to notice that you can edit this button at any time. It is not cast in stone like when you create it and that's it. So what do we want the button to do for us? Make a booking with you, contact you, learn more about your business, shop with you, download your app, or play a game. So you can see that all these buttons are tailored to specific markets that you probably are going to specific market that you probably are going to uh, be setting up your your things on my phone was my laptop was dying it's a second okay okay so let's clear that out of the way okay so make a booking with you I'm a ceramic company. Do I really want people to make booking with me? No. I want people to contact me that they want ceramic products. Then I can create one for them. Right? That's what I want. Learn more about my business. No. I'm not an online business. Or uh, if if you you okay, let's let's go to the booking you to select book now and then you add that next but we don't want to make a booking if that's what you want to do you can do that but we don't want to do that so we can close that oh, it's close okay next one is contact us contact us send us images message call us sign up send an email send a whatsapp which one do you go for so i would go for call me now right okay call me now go next add a number what number do i add your telephone number that people can get you on so ghana select ghana and type the number zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you save the number then click finish okay so there was an issue processing your request try again okay what process is that uh, what's that what's that okay call now configured internet is working finish and there was an issue with your request okay facebook is giving me this problem but of course you get a point so with the add button right we just want to go back okay let's go back and look at the remaining ones learn more about your business watch a video learn more so the buttons are plenty buttons that you can add if you have an online shop then this is a gift for you shop now buy a gift see offers other food so when you select one you see it there as a preview right how it's going to be download an app use an app play a game so that is about the button over there on your facebook page so ladies and gentlemen uh, i think we have done a lot for today okay 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 i think the reason why it's not allowing us to create that button is that we unpublish the page okay so when you publish the page you go to all the settings publish the page and then it will allow you to create that button all right so ladies and gentlemen once again uh, it's been a pleasure working with you through this setup of facebook page uh, i hope 
the information I've shared so far would be very, very valuable to you and that you'll be able to use it to set up your business, set up your Facebook page and make it a profitable venture. If you do not have a Facebook page and you're only doing Instagram, I'll suggest to you that you quickly use this information, go through the video and set up your Facebook page nicely so that your business would make a lot of profit if possible because you need a Facebook page to run your ads and project your Instagram page in the process. Thank you very much for sticking with me through this time. I hope to see you on another class very soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.